And we start with a live look at O'Hare and a big revamp for the big airport is taking off. Sally Schulze has more on today's announcement that brought the top guy in transportation to town. The transportation secretary shows his love for O'Hare. It is an absolute powerhouse that in turn makes Chicago and Chicagoland a powerhouse for the American economy. And that's what we're talking about today. Pete Buttigieg joining the mayor and other leaders to announce the FAA signed off on a key environmental review for the Terminal Area Plan. Yes, a boring name, but they promise it means exciting things, especially for Terminal 2, which will be demolished and rebuilt as a global terminal. The Terminal Area Plan in particular will improve the passenger experience with updated facilities and amenities, reduce air taxiing times and wait times for gate and cohesively integrate all four O'Hare terminal facilities. That Terminal 2 revamp starts in 2026, but by spring, construction should start on two satellite concourses. And there were lots of union workers on hand for this announcement because the overall project called O'Hare 21 is going to need lots of workers. O'Hare 21 will add to this impact by creating more than 26,000 new construction jobs. Okay, those are the future plans, but what about this week when people start to pack O'Hare for holiday? travel. Secretary Buttigieg says we're in a better position than over the summer when you likely remember those serious travel troubles. What can you say to people who are very worried that they are going to face those same nightmares? Well, the biggest thing I want passengers to know is that our department has your back. Uh, first of all, with transparency and then secondly, with enforcement. Uh, that's what we're doing with things like the announcement a few days ago that uh, with millions of, of dollars in fines, we have helped to get hundreds of millions of dollars in refunds uh, to passengers who did get stuck. Our overall goal, of course, is to make sure that doesn't happen in the first place. Buttigieg says the holiday week is off to a good start, and he believes this O'Hare revamp is key to making sure future travelers have a smooth flight as well. At O'Hare, Sally Schulze, Fox 32, Chicago.